Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Ello Ogden Ceramic Mug. Yes, people, this is not wooden, this is not plastic, this is not stainless steel, this is not styrofoam or one of those plastic travel mugs that are lined with wax paper. No, people, this is ceramic, yes. So why does it matter? Why does it matter if you have ceramic over the rest? Well, I'll tell you, if you consume black coffee like I do, you are gonna love this mug. Well, that's the goal, that's the hope, that's the maybe. <laughs> so in this video, we are gonna be discovering, is it the perfect black coffee travel mug? Yes, that is a very niche audience, but it is an audience, and I am going to find that out for you guys so you don't have to do the buying and returning. You can just simply buy the Ello Ogden, yes. So we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, unboxing, check out the mug, then we're gonna find out, does it have a funky taste? Is it going to travel well? We're gonna find out everything, all of it and more. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's crack into this bad boy and see what this is all about. I am ecstatic, people. Whoo! It's got a nice hefty weight to it. I am already happy about that. Come on. Don't cut yourself, Lucas. Oh, they really wrapped this nice. All right. Ta-da! Boom. Yes, people, ceramic. That is what is up. I did not know this existed. I literally was saying just the other day how I would like to have a ceramic like I have my home coffee mugs. Ooh, that is a very, very satisfying seal right there. And the way this comes off, I just intuitively pulled it off. That means this was designed for humans by a human. So that is awesome right there. Very much awesome sauce. That looks like it's a good seal. Nice, I like that a lot. And you're, you're not gonna mistake that for anything other than the way to take it off. All right, take a look inside there. I like how this has a lip on it right there. If you have ever used a coffee mug that doesn't have one like this one, you end up with the dribbles. There are some dribbles there. This has no lip. I personally do not mind lip versus no lip, but I do when I'm traveling because I don't want the dribbles to come down and get onto here. Now let's talk about this bad boy. This is actually a sleeve. I'm not sure if I can just pull it off. I don't think I can, but I know, I know that you can. I'm just not gonna pull it off on the video. But yeah, this is a sleeve. This feels amazing in the hand. It is a soft touch, rubbery feel with like a compression um, that is just so satisfying and because there's air gaps in between or I don't know what I'm saying there's air gaps in there that means the heat will stay in there and not burn your hand you can pretty much rest your hand on these outside so whoever designed this also designed it for humans very very cool I like that a lot all right um, you are going to have to probably be a little bit safer with this than a normal traditional to-go mug um, if this falls onto anything from any height it's going to more than likely shatter just because this is not Pyrex. Um, that may be something I look for in the future. 16 fluid ounces, there you go. Um, that may be something I look forward to in the future is a Pyrex. But coming up next, we are gonna throw some black coffee in here and see if this has any funky taste. We're gonna test how well it is to drink out of and put this through a bunch of tests to give us the final result of whether you should buy this as your daily travel companion. Yes, people, that's what we want. 
Okay, so one thing I really want to know is can you push down on this with an arrow press and will it start to wobble or fall over? So I went ahead and loaded this up with a lot, I'm talking a lot of coffee, and here we go. We're doing the press and it's actually holding perfectly. I cannot say enough about this mug. It does not wobble at all when you're pushing down on it. I have a cup at home that I push down the AeroPress on and it actually wobbles a little bit. This is phenomenal. I am very, very satisfied with the way this worked. All right, let's get into the sip test. I have Italian roast coffee in here. As you saw, I did it with the AeroPress. That makes an extremely yummy cup of coffee. I did it in a French press style, if you saw that, um, where you basically let the ground sit and soak. But anyways, let's get into the sip test. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice there is no added taste. There's no metal taste. There's no plastic taste. There is no taste. You're just getting the straight taste of the coffee, and that's because this is ceramic, people, yes. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is it is wide mouthed right there. It is very, very wide mouth, and that actually is phenomenal. When you go to take a drink out of it, you don't feel like you're drinking out of a to-go cup. You don't feel like you're having to like, like uh, kiss, <laughs> kiss the cup, if you will, to get your coffee out. You get exactly how much you would get if you had it at home in a mug. Um, you can easily pop the, the, the cap off of it and drink it straight without a cap, which gives you that aroma as you're drinking it. Of course, you're gonna have to have it about halfway full and trust your steady hand in the car, um, but you will be able to get a at-home type feel with this mug. Um, let's talk about the cons. The cons are it is ceramic. Yes, people, it will break. This top has zero protection on it. I kind of wish the top maybe had something uh, um, a little bit more up on it and left the maybe the tip open, but the whole thing is, is, is uh, vulnerable. Um, if you tip this thing over incorrectly and it hits just right, the whole thing may shatter, I'm not sure. I have not tested the durability of this and I won't test it. I'm just hoping it lasts me at least a couple years of use. Um, but that leads me to my next gripe. Uh, my next con is that it does not keep the coffee as hot as a traditional to-go cup. If you go to the gas station or Starbucks, those cups are actually gonna keep it a little bit warmer for longer and the main reason is the lid, yes. This lid has a seal almost all the way around but it does not cover where your mouth uh, sips out of and where it opens. That is the biggest downfall. I wish they would put a little bit of a seal on there so that when you close it, it is actually fully closed and sealed. A lot of heat goes right out there because that is just hard plastic against ceramic. So if you're looking for a travel mug that's gonna keep your coffee hot for hours, this is not the one. This is gonna be very similar to at home where you're gonna get 30 to 45 minutes of good heat, which is what they recommend. They say you should drink your coffee in about 30 minutes anyways. Um, so it's very similar to an at-home mug. I travel you know, eight to 10 hours in a car, so when I fill up my mug, I'm going a full tank sometimes before I get uh, a new cup of coffee. So I am sipping on it for literally three hours sometimes, two hours depending on how long I can last. Um, and so usually about an hour and a half in, it is getting cooler um, and then it's getting cold. So that is one downside to this lid. I think it can be fixed by them updating the lid a little bit. Um, let's talk about the pros. This is the most comfortable grip I have ever experienced in my life. It is, it is so satisfying. It has compression um, in it. It literally compresses as you squeeze it. It really is, is a soft touch. You're gonna fall in love with that. 
which also leads to the next pro this is extremely grippy on the bottom it really grips whatever it's sitting in and because it runs all the way up the mug it's going to grip into any size cup holder small medium large uh, which brings me to my next pro it does fit into um, most cup holders i enjoyed putting it into my main cup holder in my honda fit it was a good size. Now, bear in mind that this is taller than most travel mugs. I would say it's about three inches taller, and that is because of the way that this lid fits on here. Um, the lid likes to sit down inside the top, and it's designed that way. Um, I don't know exactly why, but that's the way it is. So this thing is taller. Now, what is the con of being taller? Well. It's not gonna fit in your home appliances. It might not fit in your Keurig. It might not fit in your Breville espresso maker. It might not fit in your super automatic. But you can always pour the coffee into it from another ceramic mug. So that's what I've been doing. I've been using my super automatic. I fill up a cup. I pour it into the travel mug and away I go. Now. When you're on the road, you're gonna go and get coffee. So how much coffee can go into here? Well, I have found that if you go to Love's or if you go to Pilot uh, Travel uh, Stop, this is a small. So I think it's 16 fluid ounces. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it says on the bottom. Yeah, it is 16 fluid ounces. That is a small at those places. Do not go medium, you will end up with coffee in your other cup so that leads me to my next thing of can you take this into a place and put it underneath their machine and get your coffee yes you can unless the place says you cannot do that then don't do it but you can walk in with this and you can tell them it is a small 16 fluid ounces they can look at the bottom if they need to and they will ring it up accordingly so that means you can just walk in with this you probably already know that and get yourself a cup of coffee and walk out so all in all i'm going to give this thing a solid four and a half stars i would give it five stars if it lasted a little bit longer with the heat um, but all in all, this has exceeded my expectations. This is my number one travel mug from here on out. I will not be buying the plastic ones or the wooden ones or the glass ones. Well, this is ceramic. <laughs> or the stainless steel ones or the metal ones. I won't be doing that. This is my go-to travel mug from here on out. I am very, very happy with it. It was a good purchase. Now, before we end this, I need to say one more con about the grip so if you have a backpack this will slide into the slot on the side but because of the grip it's going to grip all the way down and that may become very annoying so just an fyi if you do a lot of backpack travel this might become slightly annoying i have already had that problem where i went to put it in and it would only go halfway and i had to kind of tug and move it around and then it popped down in so the grip is a pro and a con it's a double-edged sword people double-edged sword so all in all four and a half stars almost perfect just not there very very close if you're someone who drinks only black coffee like i do this is a must-have for travel it is a must-have even in your home you may just find yourself using it in your home because it is a phenomenal um it's a phenomenal mug and you just can't go wrong with it the price is right just buy it, enjoy it, and comment nicely down below. <laughs>all right there you go that's the elo ogden mug hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely click to clack that like button and if you want to join the at home with lucas family and you want to join this crew hit that subscribe button every time i get a subscriber i get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys i surpassed 1k yes people i'm on my way to 1 million i know that sounds like a stretch but that is where i'm going and i'm taking you guys with me so hit that subscribe button, join this crew, and let's grow together because if 
<laughs> because without you, the audience, I have nothing. And I am trying to have everything and more, but not in a greedy way, in a legit family-oriented way. Yes, people, that's me, family man. Not the show, just a human. <laughs> All right, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.